What's gone? Mad for Shed here. Man, super pumped. Yesterday, um, I shot the video and um, I didn't upload it. So, uploaded it this morning. And I I was just reliving yesterday um, prior to I'm heading out to my first appointment. Uh, yep, dressed like this today because it's a little bit more cash. And um, it's very important. The way you dress makes a big difference, but you also need to know how to dress for certain situations. And this situation warrants um, a little flannel. So um, anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about what happened yesterday at the appointment. I'm super pumped about it. And um, it, it actually demonstrates what I believe. I got an email from him this morning saying, they're excited. Um, they're going to make a decision. But one of the big things he said in the email was the way I broke down how we we're going to support the transition. The transition is always the worst part. Um, asked one of my uh, team members to stop in this morning to let them know, hey, this is what I'm going to be doing for you. Just kind of more sealing the deal. I believe that we're going to get it. Um, but we did everything that we could do to get the deal. It's a very large deal. Um, this particular deal needed them to make a decision, but I anticipate it going very well, and we'll see. The best part about it, within just a few moments, um, I asked very particular questions, especially the ones that I know. And one of the things that I was thinking about was, they're in an industry where they could use a really good friend of mine. And so I asked them, I said, hey, who does, uh, who is your supplier for security cameras? And they explained that, you know, they use a couple of people that I hadn't heard of. Um, and I said, I'd love to introduce you to a friend of mine who makes everything in the USA. And he asked a question that I wasn't able to answer. And um, I said, look, I know I'm supposed to talk to you about my services, but can we just make a quick phone call, see if I can get him on the phone and answer that question so we can move on. Picked up my phone, put it on speaker. My buddy picked up because it's me. I have that kind of relationship. And he's like, what's going on, Matt? I'm like, hey, bud, I need your help. I'm actually in an appointment talking about my services, but this question came up. Can you help me? The gentleman asked uh, the question about, you know, where the chips are made and he explained everything. And I had taught my friend that if I ever call, your job is to book the appointment. That same moment, he was like, where are you at? And the gentleman said, I'm in Ontario. And I had taught my friend, I'm going to be in that area tomorrow. Now, whether or not he was going to be in that area, he is now going to be in that area. Book the appointment. A couple hours from now, they're going to go ahead and meet up. When I got off the phone, I was like, sorry. And there was three of them in there. Sorry it took so long. Um, but I just met you guys less than five minutes ago. Here's your referral. This one account for my friend could be a half a million dollars. Plus. What did it also do? It showed my appointment. If they need something, they need to call me. They need to ask me or my company for everything. That is the most important thing that I want you guys to know. If your customers or clients are not calling you to ask, do you know somebody, you're not doing a good job. In my opinion, when we wrapped all that portion up, I said, hey guys, you know, I'm sorry. This is just how we do things at the lightning speed. Efficient, making sure that you guys get things done. So I'll keep you posted on that one, but I wanted to let you know that's what's going on. I'm off to do my five today. And um, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Remember, have fun. Make what? A difference. And be intentional. We'll talk to you later.